Is Europe's disease carried on the wind? Is it, Ben? Could be. And if it is? It isn't, Verge. Is that what you really think, or just what you'd like to think? I, I cannot accept half-baked theories that sell newspapers. I'm, I'm a scientist, not an alarmist. You're whistling past the graveyard. Is that a commentary on my work at the lab? We both know how hard you've worked. I'm sorry, Ben. I just can't accept the idea of universal disease. Robert, is it possible this germ or virus could be airborne? Anything is possible, Verge. The best brains in the world have been running through this thing with a fine-tooth comb. The germ is visible under a microscope, but it's not like any bacilli ever known. In what way? It can't be destroyed by any process we've been able to uncover. I wish somebody would find a vaccine. It's all we're working on at the lab, Birch. Maybe you better not send her to school today. All right. You... You think you should go to work? I have to. Oh, Bob. Bob. I'm so frightened. Everything's going to be all right, sweetheart. <laughs> Well, the bacilli are multiplying. That kicks the bone marrow theory in the head. This specimen shows a higher white count than when I put it on the slide. Ben, it's as simple as this. An unknown germ is being blown around the world. It's highly contagious in its reached plague proportion. And until further notice, this station will continue its around-the-clock coverage of this national disaster. <laughs> It's the best known way to control the contagion, to keep the germ from spreading. <laughs>